So I decided to do my Island Journey tree based off of different types of shoes or footwear. And in case you don't know what each of these types of shoes are, I have pictures of so cowboy boots, knee high boots, booties, high heels, wedges, ballerina flats, bobs, and I promise they are bobs. They just, you just can't really see the label because it's so tiny that says bobs on them. Converse, and then the famous flip flops. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is anagenesis, which is species formation without breaking the evolution line of descent. As you can see here with the flip flop, it experienced anagenesis because it didn't branch off to become the flip flop or before the flip flop, it just evolved within itself to become the flip flop. Same thing as can be seen for the converse and the bobs or any line that does not have any branch beforehand. Unlike this one, which is an example of cladogenesis, which is species formation that gives rise to two different lines. As you can see here by the high heel on the wedge, for this common ancestor, and then right here as well for the cowboy boots and the knee high boots as well. So the next would be OTUs, which are operational taxonomic units, which is the degree at which we base phylogenetic trees off of. Their differences in the DNA of organism. This is what gives the length of the branch that we see. So the shorter the branch, the closer related an organism is because they have less variation in their DNA. We're able to tell the OTUs of the tree and the order of this tree because we it is rooted meaning that we know the common ancestors between the species so we can tell the order and length of the branches. Common ancestors here, here. So this then brings us to our most recent common ancestor. The ancestor was the shortest distance or branch from the present, which would either be the heel or the wedge, since their distance or branch is the shortest, meaning they were created last or most recently. So then we have the outgroup, which is a species or OTU that is known for the, to diverge earlier than the rest of the OTUs. So essentially this would be the flip-flops because if you look, they diverged be earlier before the rest of the other shoes. So while all these shoes have this common ancestor, flip-flops do not because they diverged earlier. Then some other internal structures would be terminal nodes, which are the points at the end of the tree, which is which represent a new species right here and here. The way I remember this is that terminal meaning end, so they're the end points. And then would be the internal nodes, which as you can guess, are the internal meaning inside of the tree. So they're the place before each branch splits and they represent a common ancestor. So I decided to draw my tree this way because there are two groups of shoes and meaning the boots and the other shoes. So I thought cowboy boots and knee high boots were more similar than the booties since they have a similar shape and a mouth cover. Then would be the booties since they are a little bit more smaller. I have a heel, so they're a little bit more dressy. And then into the other shoes, we have the high heels and the wedges being the most similar because they are a type of heel. And then moving on with the ballerina flats because they are a form of dressed as a fancy shoe, just a little bit more comfortable since they don't have that heel. And then would be the bobs, which are just a flat, just a little bit more laid back, comfortable shoe that you can wear every day. And then would be your other everyday shoe would be the Converse. They're just a little bit more support and have a little bit more shoe to it than the bobs. And then obviously the outlier, which would be the flip-flops because they are just like a platform of shoe. They basically only have a base 